right, let's kick off this deep dive and uh, go behind the scenes of the first John Wick movie. Sounds good. We've got interviews, articles, all sorts of stuff to really unpack why, uh, you know, that puppy. Yeah. You know, the one becomes like the backbone of this whole crazy action franchise. Right. It's wild. The studio actually tried to cut the whole puppy death scene. Oh, wow. They thought it would be like too much for the audience. Really? Huh. That's surprising when you think about how violent the rest of the movie is. Right. It's like right. they thought people would be more upset about a dog than all the, you know, human carnage. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about irony, huh? <laughs> but uh, thankfully, the directors, Chad Stahelski and David Leitch, yeah. mm -hmm. they really pushed for that scene. They understood how important it was, not yeah. just for the plot, but for setting up who John Wick is, like emotionally, you know? Absolutely. They saw the puppy as way more than just some plot device. Right. This is symbolic, you know? This last connection to his wife, yeah. this little bit of hope in this world of, you know, grief he's living in. Totally. So when they took that away from him, those antagonists weren't just stealing a car. They were shattering his whole world. Yeah, taking away the last piece of piece he had left. Exactly. It's heavy stuff. It is. And the directors, they flat out argued that audiences could handle it. Mm -hmm. Like one of them, David Leitch, he said something like, and I'm paraphrasing here. Sure. But uh, he basically said, look, the whole movie is about Wick shooting people point blank. Yeah. Are we really worried about a puppy? Right. With all this other, like crazy stuff going on it's a good point it is it's like they're challenging what the studio thought audiences could like emotionally deal with yeah and i think they were right that scene works because it taps into something we all get mm -hmm. that pain of loss that fierce protectiveness we have for the people or you know cuts yeah cuts that we love it's powerful stuff and that kind of brings us to keanu reeves himself oh yeah he was totally on board with the director's vision apparently they actually used a stuffed animal as the puppy on set mm -hmm. wow can you imagine keanu reeves acting his heart out over a stuffed dog i know right that's kind of funny to picture it is but the crew said his commitment was like undeniable i bet he got the importance of that scene and he just delivered yeah. a performance so powerful that it convinced even the most like skeptical crew members. Wow. And get this, he completely refused to film the alternate ending where the puppy lives. Oh, really? The studio wanted it as a backup, you know, just in case. Right, right. But Keanu was like, nope, that goes against everything about the character. And he knew it would ruin it. Absolutely, and he was right. He was. That decision, along with the directors fighting to keep that whole scene, yeah. It really shows you how well they understood what makes a story work. Yeah, it's crucial to the whole franchise. Uh, amazing to think it almost didn't happen. It really makes you wonder how different things would be if the studio had just gotten their way. Huh. Yeah, can you imagine John Wick without that, like, gut-wrenching opening? No, not at all. Totally different movie. And it wasn't just about avoiding bad luck, you know. The studio was also worried about alienating audiences. No oh, worry. Right. They were scared people wouldn't be able to stomach seeing an innocent animal, you know? Yeah, die. Yeah. It's interesting. That fear reveals something about how they saw the audience. What do you mean? Well, they underestimated us, you know? They assumed we couldn't handle a complex portrayal of loss. They thought we couldn't separate fiction from reality. Exactly. Like, we wouldn't understand why that scene was needed to make the story work. And they were wrong. The success of John Wick proves audiences are way more sophisticated than that. Yeah, we want stories that resonate, that challenge us, that make us think. And John Wick definitely does that, all uh, thanks to that one almost cut scene. And Keanu Reeves, his dedication to making that grief feel real, it added so much depth. Totally. Now let's talk about the ripple effects of this whole thing. Okay. The first John Wick is getting re-released in theaters this year. Oh, wow. Almost a decade after it first came out. That says a lot about its impact. It's not just some, you know, flash in the pan. Mm. It's a film that sticks with people. And I think a big part of that is that opening scene, that emotional punch that sets everything off. Yeah. It reminds us that sometimes the most unexpected things can have the biggest impact on a story. It really does. And speaking of unexpected, can you believe the studio wanted to film a version where the puppy lives? What? Seriously. Yeah. Talk about ruining the whole point of the film. Right. He would have been a totally different story. John Wick, without the puppy's death, he's just another retired hitman. Exactly. There's no emotional weight, no urgency. He's just going through the motions. And the audience would have felt that. Absolutely. It would have been a disservice to 
you know, our intelligence and ability to connect with the story. Totally. And thankfully, both the directors and Keanu Reeves recognized mm -hmm. that yeah. their commitment to the original vision, to the emotional truth of the story, is what makes John Wick so captivating. It brings us to a fascinating question. Could John Wick have had the same impact without that emotional weight from the puppy's death? Hmm. Could something else have sparked that fire in him, that relentless need for vengeance? It's something to think about. It is. It really speaks to the power of storytelling. Yeah. The power of tapping into those raw human emotions that we all share. And that's what makes it so powerful. It reminds us that sometimes the smallest details can have the biggest impact. And in John Wick, that detail was a puppy. A puppy that almost wasn't. Exactly. It's kind of crazy how one little thing, like the death of a puppy, yeah. can set off this whole chain reaction, you know? Right. And create this massive franchise, sequels, a TV show in the works, spinoffs, mm -hmm. even comic books. It's wild. All from that one event. It really makes you think about storytelling, how those choices, you know, can have a huge ripple effect. Yes, definitely. That puppy wasn't just part of the plot. It was like a catalyst. Mm. Turned John Wick from a grieving widower into this legendary, like, badass. Exactly. And it made him relatable, you know? Right. Gave the audience a reason to care about this guy who's, let's be honest, incredibly violent. Totally. It's that vulnerability, that raw emotion that makes him different from your typical action hero. Yeah, he's not just a killing machine. He's a man who's been pushed to his absolute limit. And we understand why. Exactly. You can even see that shift in how the action plays out, like before the puppy dies. Mm -hmm. There's this restraint to John Wick, almost a sadness. Well, totally, he's haunted by loss, carrying all that grief with him. But then after that scene, Everything changes. It's like a switch flips. The action becomes sharper, more brutal. Yeah, like it's a physical manifestation of all that rage and sorrow he's holding inside. So like every fight is a way for him to release all that pain, <laughs> to channel it into something real. Exactly. It's not just about the choreography. It's the emotional weight behind every punch, every gunshot. That's what makes the action in John Wick so captivating. It's not just cool to watch. It's emotionally charged. And it all comes back to that one scene, that loss that sets everything in motion. The studio was so worried about bad luck, they almost missed out on the emotional power of that whole thing. Can you imagine how different the franchise would be if they'd gotten their way? It's impossible to picture John Wick without that driving force, that need for revenge that comes from love and loss. Makes you think about those moments in our own lives, those things that change who we are. Yeah, things that might seem small at the time, but end up having a huge impact on our lives. That's the power of storytelling. It helps us explore those moments, understand them. And see how they affect not just us, but the people around us. Exactly. And speaking of those ripple effects, let's go back to the re-release of the first John Wick movie. Right, those special screenings in November. Almost a decade later, and people are still excited to see it. It says a lot about how the film has stayed with people. In a world full of action movies, John Wick stands out. It keeps drawing people in years later. And I think that's because of the heart of the story. No. The puppy's death, it wasn't just some cheap trick to get the plot going. Right. It tapped into something universal, something that hit audiences hard. That shared experience of loss, grief, wanting to protect the people we love. That emotional depth is what makes John Wick more than just another action flick. It becomes something meaningful, something that stays with you. Absolutely. Now, let's Dig a little deeper into that alternate ending the studio wanted. Okay. We talked about how it would have messed with the story, mm -hmm. but I'm curious about the psychology behind it, you know? Yeah, it seems like they were trying to make it easier for the audience to swallow. Like not upset people with the puppy dying. Right, but I think there's more to it than that. Oh. It's like they were showing their own biases about what they thought audiences wanted. Interesting. They thought we couldn't handle complex emotions, that we needed a happy ending to, like, fully enjoy the movie. He underestimated us. Exactly. And by doing that, hmm. they would have taken away the power of the story. Stripping away the things that make John Wick so good, that rawness, the vulnerability, those high stakes. They wanted to make it safer, more palatable for everyone. But they risked losing what made it special. It's a trap a lot of stories fall into. Yeah. Trying to please everyone and ending up pleasing no one. You lose that authenticity, that emotional truth. And that's what makes the original ending so good. Yeah. It embraces the darkness, explores the tough stuff, grief, 
vengeance. It challenged conventions. And that's what resonated with audiences. And look what happened. We're still talking about that puppy years later. It's become a symbol of how powerful storytelling can be, how it can make us feel things. It's amazing how one creative choice can have such a huge impact. It shows how important it is to trust your gut, stick to your vision, even when people push back. And to remember that your audience is smart, they can handle complex emotions. They want stories that challenge them, that make them feel something real. Not everything needs to be sugar-coated. John Wick gives us that. It doesn't shy away from the dark stuff, the pain, the messy parts of being human. That's what makes it so powerful. It reminds us that even in the middle of all the violence and chaos, there's beauty, meaning a story worth telling. Yeah. Now, let's switch gears for a bit and talk about the action in John Wick. Okay. It's not just about the violence. It's about the precision, the artistry, almost like a ballet. That's one of the things that makes John Wick stand out. Yeah. The action is an expression. It's how John Wick channels all his emotions, his skills, his past. It's like a dance, a, a perfectly a choreographed explosion of violence. And I think that's why it works so well. It's not just spectacle. It's skill dedication, mastering a craft. It reflects John Wick's own journey, you know, going yeah. from this grieving guy to this force of nature. Every move, every fight has a purpose. It's not just about survival. It's about sending a message. Reclaiming his power, who he is. Exactly. It's like a physical representation of everything going on inside him. His determination to fight back against everything that's been done to him. That's what makes the action so compelling. It's not just the physical stuff. It's the emotions behind it. It's the rage, the grief, the love, mm -hmm. all coming out in these incredible displays of skill and precision. And it shows how well the filmmakers understood the genre. Mm. They didn't want to make just another dumb action movie. They wanted to elevate it. Make it art. Yeah. Give it emotion, purpose. And they did it. John Wick is more than just an action movie. It's a work of art. It respects the audience, challenges what we expect, makes us feel something. And it all started with a puppy. A puppy that almost didn't make it into the film. It's wild to think how one little detail, one tiny thing, can completely change the direction of a story. It shows that even the smallest choices can have the biggest consequences. And for John Wick, that choice, that little puppy, changed everything. You know, it really makes you appreciate the vision those directors had. Oh, absolutely. They fought so hard for that scene, they just knew how crucial it was. And look, and look at the result. It spawned a whole action franchise. Yeah, all because of one little puppy. It's incredible they understood how much audiences want emotional depth. Mm-hmm. Even in action movies. We want to connect with the characters, feel what's driving them. Exactly. And they were willing to take risks. Yeah. Push boundaries, challenge what the studio thought people could handle. And that risk, it paid off big time. Big time. It's amazing how one creative decision can have such a ripple effect. It really is. Makes you think, sometimes the best stories are the ones that dare to be different. The ones that do something unexpected challenge how we see things. Yeah. The ones that stick with us long after they're over. John Wick does that so well. It takes a genre we know, the revenge thriller. Right. And gives it heart, style, a level of emotion you wouldn't expect. It's not just about the action. It's about the man behind the gun. Yeah, the grief that drives him. The love that pushes him to seek vengeance. And the choices he makes. The path he takes after everything's been taken from him. All stemming from that one moment. That one act of cruelty that changes everything. The death of the puppy. Taking away his last connection to his wife. To peace, to his humanity. It's a loss you feel throughout the whole franchise. Yeah. It shapes John Wick's fate. And pushes him on that relentless quest for justice. But it also shows us that even in the darkest times, even when you face unimaginable loss, there's still hope. A light that can guide you. It's a testament to how strong the human spirit can be. How love can get you through even the most brutal realities. So next time you watch John Wick, really pay attention to that scene. Think about how important it is, how it affects the whole story, how it changes John Wick. And ask yourself, could he have become the icon he is without that loss? Could something else have pushed him that far, given him that unwavering determination? It's a question we're thinking about. It really is. It reminds us that sometimes the most unexpected things, the most painful losses, can lead to our greatest triumphs. They can make you stronger, more resilient, capable of doing incredible things. That's the legacy of John Wick. He represents hope, perseverance, the strength that's inside all of us. Even when faced with darkness, we can choose to rise, to fight back, to take back our power. That's a powerful message. 
a message that resonates with people everywhere. It doesn't matter your language, your culture, your background. Because deep down, we all understand love, loss, and resilience. And that's what makes storytelling so special. It connects us through those shared experiences. Helps us find meaning in the chaos. Well, it lets us come out of the darkness, changed. So as we wrap up our deep dive into John Wick, we'll leave you with this. Okay. Embrace the unexpected. Yeah. Cherish the moments that shape you. Absolutely. And never underestimate the power of a story to change the world.